Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and boy do I have a special video for you today. We have a 2019 Lamborghini Huracan Performante with only 2,000 miles on the clock, which is in need of a general maintenance wash and protection top up. The Huracan was ceramic coated by the dealer with Geotanic Platinum, and whilst it has been protected well, there was still a nice improvement to be made in regards to the water repellency department, which we'll get to shortly. The Lambo wasn't the only supercar there on the day, we also have a Mercedes AMG GT on the far left, a Mercedes SLS AMG in the middle and a Porsche 911 Carrera S on the right. So stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss future content on those bad boys. The products that we're going to be using today for the most part are all Sam's Detailing products. So we have Sam's Detailing Snow Foam, which is an effective pH neutral snow foam and safe for use on all types of vehicles and surfaces and is wax, sealant and ceramic coating safe. Sam's Detailing Shampoo, which again is pH neutral and safe for use on wax sealant or ceramic coated vehicles, offering a nice amount of suds and lubricity to help to avoid those absurd paint swirls. The creme de la creme of Sam's Detailing products for me is Ceramic Boost and I'll show you very shortly just what this product is all about, although there is a big clue within its name. Sam's Detailing All Purpose Cleaner which is watermelon scented and is going to be used as the wheel cleaner in today's maintenance wash quite simply because this product contains no gloss enhancers combined with the fact that the Huracan has obviously got carbon ceramic rotors so no Sam's Detailing iron reactor today. Swissvax Pneu Tire Dressing because in my opinion Swissvax Pneu is the dog's danglies of tire dressings. Ideal world. Like all maintenance washes, you will want to start with the wheels first because generally speaking, these will be the dirtiest areas on a vehicle. Although with this super duper supercar, we have carbon ceramic rotors, so the amount of brake dust with these types of brakes is practically non-existent. The wheels are a little dirty from the occasional use that the Lambo does get, so an initial pressure rinse is going to remove the bulk of the grime before going in there with our various wheel cleaning implements. I have made a complete wheel cleaning guide in regards to cleaning vehicles with carbon ceramic brakes including what products to use and what products you certainly don't want to use so if you are unsure about why you shouldn't use iron fallout removers or normal gloss enhancing car shampoo or wash and wax with wheels that do have carbon ceramic brakes then feel free to check that video out after watching this one. In short, carbon ceramic rotors are porous, meaning that anything that comes into contact with them in liquid form will actually soak deep inside the rotor. You do not want to use any type of gloss enhancing, wax inhibited or iron fallout product on vehicles like the Huracan Performante, because you could in fact ruin those rotors. I dread to think how much they cost to replace, my guess is the best part of 40 grand. Um, started ever since I bought my first car, so that's what originally got me into it um, straight away. And as a business, uh, 
2013, the start of 2013, I began doing it on the side, evenings, weekends, um, and then eventually went full time, start of 2016. Uh, so yeah, that's been the biggest learning curve since going full time, to be fair. Before then, it was oh, it was good, um, a good introduction into doing other people. Yeah. With the Hurricane it was a simple yet intricate and gentle wash for the prestigious wheels, utilising all of my wheel cleaning implements to return them back to an impeccable condition. With all four wheels sorted, the first step for the bodywork was to utilise the pressure washer to remove as much dirt and grime as possible. I'm using a Kranzel K7 and considering that there isn't much to talk about whilst conducting the initial pre-rinse stage, I'll quickly fill you in with what the carbon fibre on the Perfomante is called. It's called Forged Composite and the Perfomante is smothered in it, inside and out. I've also got a few other things that I want to talk to you about today including the main reason behind why this Perfomante has appeared on the channel, which is actually a thank you video to all of those that have subscribed to the channel so far. We hit 33k the other day, in fact we hit 34k yesterday, so we are now one third of the way to my ultimate goal since starting YouTube which is 100,000 subscribers. You may have noticed a few of my videos recently have done incredibly well and in the past 40 odd days we've actually gained over 10,000 new subscribers. So welcome on board to all of those and a genuine and heartfelt thank you from myself to all 33,000 of you. I've got another surprise for you towards the end of the video so make sure you watch the entire thing till the end. With the initial pre-rinse complete whilst being extremely careful with the Italian's paintwork, Sam's detailing snow foam was applied and given just enough time to dwell before it was pressure rinsed back off. Out of all the snow foams I've recently used, I would highly recommend Sam's detailing snow foam. In fact, being completely honest with you, I would recommend all of the Sam's detailing products that are being used in today's video. This is not a paid promotion, but you can certainly call it a sponsored video, as I got in touch with my new favourite detailing manufacturer Sam's Detailing recently to sort me out with his high quality maintenance washing range ready for the Lambo's arrival. 
I seem to find myself using Sam's products more and more as of late, in fact I should probably place my first fully paid order with him soon. Sam, I know you're watching my bearded brother, I hope you liked the video and thank you for the products. If I didn't believe in Sam's detailing and Sam's products then they wouldn't have appeared in this video and I certainly wouldn't have chosen to use them on this quarter million pound supercar. But because these products are quite simply of an excellent quality and in fact rather cost effective, you can expect to see them appearing on this channel more and more. One of the reasons why I like Sam's detailing snow foam so much is because its dwell time is so long. It stays on the paintwork pretty much the same way that it went on for 5-10 to 10 minutes whilst dripping down the car. Although this is weather dependent because if the sun does come out like it did today, then it will shorten that time down a bit to around 5 minutes. However, with it being pH neutral, it won't bake on in the sun like what built Amber Auto Foam does. Sam Snow Foam is an effective snow foam and it will remove just as much dirt and grime that any other decent snow foam is capable of removing. At the end of the day it is often down to the vehicle itself in terms of how much dirt and grime you can remove from the paintwork after the snow foam stage. In an ideal world then the car would already be ceramic coated or if not waxed or sealed so by the time I rinsed all of the snow foam off there was practically no dirt on the Lambo whatsoever which was all thanks to the fact that it had already been ceramic coated. If it was my own Lamborghini Huracan Performante then besides the fact I'd probably be dancing around cheese cracker naked at this point, but if it was my own Lambo then I would have just skipped to the ceramic boost and drying stage, but because this obviously isn't my own Lamborghini then I'm just going to give it a gentle wash instead. Sorry for the disappointment. Two generous squirts of Sam's detailing shampoo into the bucket and a squirt for inside of the wash mitt is going to work wonders. The jet wash is used to blast the bucket to create a ton of suds and me and the microfiber in Creddy wash mitt are going to methodically and gently clean the Italian's paintwork. You need to start with the roof down when purposefully reducing the chance of inflicting any wash induced paint swirls or marring. Most of the dirt, generally speaking, will be on the lower parts of the vehicle, so by starting with the top sections first is going to ensure that the Lamborghini's paintwork stays swirl free. By having your vehicle ceramic coated with something like G-Technic Crystal Serum Light and XOV4 is going to provide the paintwork with a good wash induced swirl resistance barrier. This is by no means an excuse to give the car a bad wash because that one bad wash could wreck the vehicle's finish. When considering that the paintwork is currently 99% swirl free that would be disastrous.
something that I've learnt whilst detailing or washing supercars or prestige vehicles with my six years of business experience is that you need to take control of the car and not let the car control you. By this I mean you need to put those paranoid thoughts of swirling the paintwork up to the back of your mind and concentrate on what it is that you are doing. Most supercars at this level are not usually taken out if the forecast is looking bad. They are mainly driven on special occasions or reasonably rarely depending on the owner of course so the chances of any trap, grit and dirt becoming lodged in the wash mitt is very slim, especially considering how much pre-washing we've already done. By the time I had finished washing the car, both buckets were in fact as clear as when I filled them up. The only bucket that had turned murky was in fact the wheel bucket. It certainly goes to show that snow foam is worthwhile and effective, although for argument's sake, the Lambo wasn't exactly filthy. Combine the snow foam with your two buckets and a decent shampoo, wash mitt, drying towel and detailing spray, you too could wash a car without swirling it all up. The wash on the Hurricane Performante did take a bit of time to complete, simply due to the amount of intricate areas including the big wing, front splitter, rear diffuser, various vents, gaps and crevices. I thoroughly enjoyed cleaning this car, which I'm sure goes without saying. After the incredibly gentle washing regime was carried out using the super sudsy and lubricating Sam's detailing shampoo, the Performante was rinsed from the roof down. This was my first opportunity to check the water beading levels of the Lambos coating and in my opinion it does need some improving. Onto my favourite Sam's detailing product which is called Ceramic Boost and as the name suggests it's going to boost the ceramic coating that's already on the car. This product can be used literally everywhere including the paintwork, wheels, windows, plastic trim and any chrome features. But with this Lambo we are not going to be using it on the wheels simply due to those ceramic rotors. I will in fact be doing my very best to keep every last drop of the product away from the rotors. The way you use this product is simple, wash the car and rinse it off and then leave the entire vehicle wet, do not dry the car at this point. Apply ceramic boost to let's say one quarter of the car at a time and then immediately rinse it off with the pressure washer afterwards. Spritz each panel a few times and when you've finished your first quarter, take the pressure washer and rinse it off thoroughly. This product activates when it is rinsed off and will instantly give your vehicle a dramatic boost of water repellency, whilst also giving the surface an incredibly slick, smooth and glossy finish. Unlike Geon Wet Coat, with Sam's detailing ceramic boost, you have 30 seconds to work with before needing to rinse the panels, whereas with Wet Coat, you need to do it immediately. Ceramic Boost in comparison is far more user friendly and if you ended up having to apply it partially in the sun then the car will be okay, just make sure you rinse it off a little quicker. The difference Ceramic Boost was making to the Hurricanes paintwork was impressive and considering how easy this product is to use it was incredibly satisfying.
With the entire ceramic boost stage complete, the Italian's exterior was dried using a brand new Monster Microfiber Plus drying towel. The other perk of Ceramic Boost is due to it giving the vehicle an incredibly slick finish even for a non-detailed, waxed, polished or sealed vehicle is going to make the drying process 10 times quicker due to the product providing a super slick and water repellent finish. The Lamborghini's paintwork was in fact without a shadow of a doubt and I'm sure it goes without saying that the paintwork was very 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 incredibly unbelievably smooth. The drying towel quite literally glided across the paintwork just like it does with my Volkswagen Caddy work van thanks to the G-Tanic ceramic coatings but the Lamborghini's paintwork felt so amazing, so 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 smooth, it was slick, let me tell you that. So whilst I regained my composure the exterior was dried and if I was the female counterpart then I'd certainly have been wet but the Lamborghini was dried incredibly professionally of course. The only thing that I forgot on the day was in fact the air dry which was a big mistake as I seriously could have done with using it but nobody died so everyone is okay and so is the car. The wheels were dried with a trusty microfiber towel, a plush one to be exact, whilst using a bit of Meguiar's detail spray. A few final drips of water were, well I'm not sure how to put this but let's just say dealt with, and the rear perspex window was wiped over, with a brand new microfiber towel of course. The tyres were dressed with the only second non-SAMS detailing product which is a tyre dressing called Swiss Fax Pneu. If you've watched my channel for any longer than one day and taken on board anything about what it is that I talk about and do, then you should know that I'm a bit of a Swiss Fax fanboy. Swiss Fax Pneu will give the tyres when dried a lovely satin finish, suiting the prestige Lamborghini Huracan Performante down to a T. T for tyre, I'm sure you got it. The tyre dressing will dry naturally, although after 30 minutes to an hour I would suggest applying a little bit more of the product to a microfiber towel and giving the tyres a gentle wiping over. The wheels were given a final tickle with a fresh microfiber towel to remove a few traces of the water-based Swiss Fax tyre dressing, which isn't a problem and it happens with every car, however soon it will be the time to stand back and admire my hard intricate work. Although at this point I just realised that I still have the interior left to do, so no rest for the wicked just yet. I want to keep this video on the topic of the exterior maintenance wash and protection top up, so please hang on for the interior cleaning footage in a separate video. The door shuts and sills were cleaned using detailing spray and a brand new microfiber towel, sorting them out nicely. With all of the hard and intricate work done, let's just take a few moments to appreciate this stunning piece of automotive art. 
I'd never cleaned a Lamborghini before this day, so it's certainly one of those supercars ticked off the detail list, and it's almost time for me to share with you the real reason behind this video, apart from it being a 33k subscriber celebration of course. So because we've just hit my first real milestone of 33,000 subscribers, i.e. one third of the way to 100k, I've joined up with Sam's Detailing to offer a limited edition 33k gift set. Although the channel literally hit 34k yesterday, but I certainly can't complain with the channel's growth as of late. My contribution to the 33k gift set is a limited edition grey camo JP Detail snapback cap which is of course an excellent quality. This cap is my new daily work cap so believe me they are certainly up to par. A JP Detail's air freshener and two 300 GSM premium microfiber towels. In Sam's Corner we have 100ml samples of Sam's Detailing Shampoo, Sam's Detailing Snow Foam, Sam's Detailing Iron Reactor and of course the Sam's Detailing Ceramic Boost, which for the most part have all been used in today's video. Also a Sam's Detailing Air Freshener, a Ceramic Boost Keyring and a Sam's Detailing Pin Badge. We have 33 gift sets available which I'm sorry to say but they are only available to UK residents due to excess postage costs overseas. The 33 gift sets to celebrate 33k subscribers cost £30 for the set inclusive of the postage and are now available to purchase on the JP Details online store. The limited edition gift sets which will be done on the next milestone as well so 66k subscribers however they won't be the same design. I'm big into my snapbacks and also big into Sam's detailing, so hopefully this set will sort you out nicely with an introduction to Sam's brand whilst also wearing mine. 33 sets in total at 30 quid each, UK postage only, so be a part of the JP Details brand and help me celebrate my first goal. As always, thank you to all 33,000 of you for subscribing and watching the videos. If it wasn't for you lot, then I wouldn't have claimed this Lamborghini Huracan. I've met quite a few of you so far on the training days which is awesome and I look forward to watching the channel grow even more in the future. Don't forget to smash the like button to help me celebrate and to also get this video shown to the masses. Please visit the description below to find both my own and Sam's Detailing social media pages to give them a follow and please head over to Sam's Detailing on YouTube and make sure you subscribe and why not let him know that JP Details sent you over. I am doing these gift sets for a small profit which considering how long they've taken to organise and put together is only fair. However I do feel the need to let you know that I don't get paid any commission if you do go and buy some of Sam's products but please feel free to do so as they are a genuine company and I use their products because I like them. Visit the JP Details online store by visiting jpdetails.co.uk to order your 33k limited edition gift set. Thank you once again and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.